Oscar Rag Squad, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're just gonna be doing like a, a quick overview and uh, a 15,000 miles update on the car. Uh, pretty much what it's like owning the 2020 Accord 2.0 Sport and uh, how much does it cost the maintenance and all the mods that I've done to it so far. Uh, pretty much where you could get those and also how much did that cost. So we're gonna be covering those in today's video it's gonna be it's gonna be really like a a quick little update um nothing crazy just uh a quick overview so we're about to get that going um as for mods so far uh it's nothing too crazy it's mostly um you know cosmetic stuff but i'm gonna show you guys all that and also i'm gonna put a um I'm gonna put a link in the description as well so you guys can check that out. So let's get this rolling. So for the mods, um, starting off up front, we have uh, um, uh, grill covers, um, lip, and a, a fog light trim right there. Also, we got the, the tow strap. Doesn't really. It's not really functional for towing, it's just there for, just for looks. And then we have this JDM Red Devil emblem as well. So to cover all that, I'm just gonna do it um, separately. So for the grill cover right here, which is this, um, that is pretty much like a, a plastic overlay. Um, it has a carbon fiber look to it, even though it's not really like, um, completely carbon fiber it's not like real it's like a synthetic dip that they um put it in but it does give it a, a carbon fiber look to it so i didn't like the the chrome that the car had from stock it was like a bright chrome kind of not really bright it's like a smoke chrome finish that honda put on there um but i didn't really like it and at least not for um not for the you know the mods i had planned for the front end of it so I decided to change that. Um, in the center of that, we have the Red Devil emblem right here. Uh, that is a, a set of um, three. So one for the front, one for the rear, and one for the steering wheel as well. Um, that was about, uh, I think it's about 60 bucks. Um, and guys, so all the parts that I've actually have on the car so far, like all the mods, I pretty much got all of them from eBay. So like I said, I'm gonna put a link in the description, but yeah. So we have this little toe strap right here. Um, it's not really functional. It's just there just for the looks of it. I really like it. It's like a nice little touch in front of it. So I added that. And that is, it came with a bolt to like really, um, make sure it's like really bolted onto the car, but I didn't use a bolt. I just used the um, double-sided tape, um, which I got from AutoZone for like 12 bucks. So I used that and uh, yeah, it's really on there. It ain't coming off. It's like really pulling the inner plastic in here off. So that's really fastened on there. And down below from this side, we have, we have these Yofer um, fog light trims or um, accents whatever you want to call them but it does give the car like an aggressive look uh it's a two-piece so you have the top piece right here and then this little piece that extends out with these little fins on it i do think it gives a car an aggressive stance as you could um, you can see it does break up the front end a bit and especially with the lip on there it does it does give it that um, a nice uh, stance that it probably should have had from the factory, but um, but yeah, that as well I got from eBay. I think that was about um, I think that was about fifty bucks. I think I'm not really sure, but like I said, I will put a link in the description below so you can actually go and check those out for yourself if you really want um, if you really want those or you're interested for those for your car. Anyways, next up we got the we got this carbon fiber lip as well. Same thing as the the grill up top. Not real carbon fiber. It 
just has a left to it, which is um, it's probably like a carbon fiber um, hydro dip kind of paint. They dip it in, just give it that carbon fiber look. So yeah, this lip is actually damaged. It has a lot of scratches and scuffs on it because it actually hangs over the front bumper a lot so it really had took a while to get used to the extra overhang at the front especially when i'm parking or going close to um to curbs like those it really took a while to get used to that but yeah you can see this side has a bunch of scuffs and scratches but i'll get that changed out soon so that lip was about i think it was about 120 dollars for that lip also that lip came with the side skirts which I haven't put on the car yet. Um, I kind of want to put it on, but I, I'm not sure what's holding me, holding me back. But I'm, I guess I'll put it on soon enough. But yeah, so that lip along with the side skirt um, kit that it came with is about $120. And these red accents uh, right here is, it's just a, a pinstriping tape kind of I got that from AutoZone as well and the entire roll was about uh, I think it was like 12 bucks I think but yeah so I had ordered one from Amazon and it just didn't work like it came off as soon as um, you put it on there well it came off like a day later so I decided to try something different I went to AutoZone got this one and so far it's been working so it's been on there for like uh, uh, probably about two weeks now it's been on there and he hasn't come off yet it hasn't been um been broken in any sections yet so that's really on there um, and yeah that's i think that's it for the front oh also the high beams guys so these lights right here originally when i bought the car those were like a, a xenon because for some reason um for for 2018 to 20 before they did the the refresh all these cars they have actually have led lights so if i should click the button yeah so you can see the headlights are leds but the high beams were not they were like a xenon bulb like a yellow finish and i didn't i just didn't like it i mean i really use my high beams anyway but i just didn't like it so i switched those out to um to last fit leds so you can see that really young look to it in there yeah those are last bit leds that i switched those to um those are they're very bright and i rarely even use my high beams because with those last fill bulbs they're super bright and even with my low beams on the fogs on people are already like um other drivers i meant already you know flashing me or putting their high beams on because they think i'm running my high beams which i'm not it's just so that I adjusted my headlights to um, make him a little bit taller so I could, you know, see farther. But yeah, that's it for the front end, guys. Um, oh, actually, that's not. Let me guys go ahead and show you guys the the intake. So, put that the hood, that, and pop the hood right here. Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys the intake that I've got find the catch real quick all right guys so i bought this um this engine intake from ebay as well um it's not really for performance because it doesn't really do much in terms of performance if anything it really um, takes power from the car especially on a really hot day but I would say if at the right temperatures, you probably get the most about an extra 15 horsepower, if that. Like I said, it's not really for performance, at least for me, I didn't buy this one for it. I would just buy it because um, I really like the the turbo sound to really just hear the sound a lot more. Um, yeah, so that's all I got that for. It's just the, the sound of the turbos and if i should start the car way quick i can actually let you guys see what that sounds like so give me one sec
Alright guys, so now, now that you actually heard that, um, we're just going to go ahead and move on from that. Alright, so moving on to the side, we have these mirror caps as well. Like I said, same thing from the front. It has a carbon fiber look to it. Not real carbon fiber, but it does the job. So we got these from eBay as well, along with the same kind of red pinstripe pen that I um, got from AutoZone. So um, that's what I used for it. And it's been working so far. So, I mean, I can't really tell that it's not like real, especially from here. So yeah, and moving on to the door handles, we have these same thing carbon fiber door handles not real carbon fiber but yeah you get the point and this is so that's a nice touch also if you guys have a um 1.5 sport then yours would not have to cut up right here for the, um, the smart lock because on the 2.0s have the smart entry so if i put my hands right here then it unlocks i could just tap that to unlock it or lock it, I should say. So that's why it really has a little cutout right there. Moving to the back, same thing. Um, yeah. So moving up to here now, we have this little. This would normally be chrome, which it's actually. It's not really. It's not bad looking when it's um. It was actually chrome because I, I was. I had liked it. I really didn't even care to really black it out, or you know. But yeah. So I just bought like a this um, pre-cut film from eBay as well. That was like a like twenty bucks. I got that for. Um, so yeah, that was like twenty bucks, and it's a pre-cut film, so it's in three um, stages or three sections. So this piece right here, all the way up, that's one section, and then from here to here, that's one. Also from here to here, that's one as well. So it's really a three um a three piece film and that was easy to put on all i did was get a little pry tool a little plastic tool um and i just put it on there it heated up and then you just start um tuck the edges in and it works fine so far um, so yeah i guess if it does start um peeling off then i just remove it and then get it professionally um done or i could just buy another one that's only 20 bucks anyway so yeah um also you know here are the mud flaps so those didn't come on my car um usually they would but i think those come with a, a protection package if you actually buy the car from honda and they put that package on the car when you buy it but mine didn't have the protection package so i had to order these um these mud flaps they were like 20 bucks as well and those are easily installed. I didn't even remove the wheels to put those on, as you can see. Those are like just screws put in there to the bumper. And yeah, I the main reason I got those was because, as you can see with the tire shine, um, it would like splash on the body of the car when it's clean. And I just didn't like that. Uh, the, the bumper is really filthy with um, oil and all uh, kinds of grease. So I just got those. and. Moving on here, so we got this emblem as well, the same Red Devil emblem like the front. So those came with the um, with the the one from the front and the back. So it was a three piece set. Um, those are like I said, were seventy bucks. Um, yeah, those are easily um, heated and placed over the one that's already there. So no need to take that off. You know, you're not trying to screw with their airbags and then have that mess up down here we have these oem accord um floor liners the car actually has mats like actual carpeted mats in the trunk but i chose not to use those because i can't be bothered to really clean the carpets and those get dirty easily 
but with these I can easily just wipe these off or um, or even just wash them which I do most of the times those were like um, like a hundred and twenty dollars on eBay but if you try buying those from the Honda dealer those run you about two hundred dollars easily so just go to eBay and get them I'll put a link in the description uh, moving on over here we have um, these button covers for the um, for the the gear selector because these are because this is a 2.0 t with a, a 10 speed auto then you have buttons for your gear selector rather than like your traditional shifter so if i should start the car then yeah i'll show you guys how that works so you just press the button press it it puts it in gear see up there and reverse same thing park yeah so i just got these little um this is the red accents to put over it just give it a sporty look and it kind of matches the theme of the interior along with the, the badges and the star stuff button right there so yeah those are like like six bucks as well as on ebay i'm gonna link those in the description and of course you know we got a little jamaican boxing gloves up here um of course we gotta represent our island so i just put those in I, thought, I think they were like a nice little touch to it so i just added those up here we got those led um lights these were um like a normal bulb like yellow and they were not bright at all like you put them on and you really can't even see anything in the car so i switched those out to um uh it was a last fit kit that i bought on ebay as well um so yeah these are our last replacement bulbs and they're easy to do you just pop this out and um, put it in and that's it it works also with this one it's the same thing this one right here is the same thing same leds i replaced those like it came in the kit as well so the complete kit was about like say six no it was about 10 12 bucks i think and under here we have these led um light strip or light bars those change colors as you can see right now um they'll be really bright if it was night right now so if i close the door so the lights do go off yeah now you can see a lot better those are um those are about 10 12 bucks on amazon as well and they change color you could actually set it um, whichever color you want so if you want a steady color you can set that i have the remote for it i'm just not sure where i put it right now but yeah those are like mm, yeah they're they're really nice touch of the interior since the interior is missing all this ambient lighting anyway so i added those to it as you can see in my um, driver's side football as well nice touch to it they're really bright especially the pedals so yeah I like those they they get the job and they really work so now we're going to move on to the outside to finish up we're going to continue with the cost of um maintenance also my tents guys my tents are um they're 15 percent ceramics those ran me about 320 dollars down here i got those from crystal coast detailing he left his sticker right there as well as another so you know he didn't want to get yours done yeah these are 15 percent ceramics they really work especially now um it's really getting hot outside those really work um yeah so moving on to the to the back now we have these v4 tail lights so they're animated as, as well as sequential for the turn signals so if i should um put those on real quick you can see the animation right there. Yeah, so those are animated. Can you see the turn signals? Really like them. They're really clean. They're way better than the, um, the OEM ones. Way brighter, way more stylish, and it just it looks way better since it's actually smoked as well. Um, those are about 300, almost $400 really for those. I copped those on eBay for, um, uh, uh, I think I made an offer to the seller and I got those for about 300 or 290, I think. Um, 
same thing, spoiler up here, carbon fiber again. I got that on eBay for about $100, I think. Yeah, those, yeah, this is about $100. And you can see it really extends or hangs over the car a lot. It's actually really sexy, I really like it. Um, it's way better than the one you have as well. Uh, it's way wider, um, bigger, and it just makes the overall back end look so much better. So, yeah, that's it for that. And of course, I got a custom tag. That was about $35 for them to have a name on the tags. Not that I really had to, but I just felt like I wanted to. Also, the Red Devil emblem again, just like a front and the steering wheel. Same thing, I just popped the OEM one off and um, these are all double-sided tape. So it just sticks on there. It really holds on there firmly though, so it's not really coming off. And moving down, we have the Akaska carbon fiber um, diffuser. That was about, I think about $150, I think, $135. Yeah, and that was pretty easy to install as well. So the car would have had like a little, um, like a little black trim right where the top of the diffuser starts right there from factory. All you had to do was just remove those. And then underneath the car, there's like two clips on each side at the corner right here. You just remove those and then you um you install those those so they fit perfectly into the oem clips and slots so you just um you slide it in there you make sure everything is aligned and then you just clip it on all together and that's it it really holds under the car as well with the oem clips like i showed you guys so yeah and i think that's it for the for the exterior yeah, that's it. Obviously got my stock rims on here. They're really clean right now because I washed the car yesterday. They're really clean. I like these as well, but stay tuned. I got something coming for those as well, like a little update. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit of touch to those as well to make it really, really mine. And yeah, I think that's it for the exterior and all the mods. All in all, I would say the mods ran me about, about, uh, probably like a thousand five hundred. Yeah, about that. Probably not even that much. But yeah, that's that's the ballpark that you'd be in if you just go with everything that I have in a car so far. Actually, yeah, it's probably about um, it's probably about fifteen hundred because the intake itself was three hundred dollars. So, yeah, you're probably around fifteen hundred to dollars. So, yeah. So now I'm gonna tell you guys about how much it costs for maintenance, like oil changes, um, yeah, and I, like stuff like that. So let's continue with it. First, so first of all, I actually did three oil changes so far since I've actually owned this car. I don't think, yeah, so these are all the actual receipts. And the last one I did was on the 14th of this month. So I went in for a, for a rotation because the car was, um, it was like just veering to one side of the road. Uh, I think it was the passenger side. Like it would just steer to that side of the road automatically. And that was annoying having to keep correcting that. So I just went in for an, uh, for an alignment which i figured was the issue and indeed it was so they had an alignment done as you can see they corrected um they corrected all that and yeah the alignment got fixed yeah so that ran me 117 dollars for that oil change and alignment as you can see Yeah, $117. Next one is my previous oil change, which was, uh, let me see. It's very windy right now, it's actually, yeah, it's really windy. 
it sucks but yeah you know, i'm still gonna make the video for you guys so yeah that all the change was six six dollars right there as you can see right there so that was only 60 bucks for that one and the last one was when i just picked up the car i immediately brought it in for um for a multi-point inspection just to make sure everything is good with the car like there's nothing need change in you know within the, the time period before the warranty um the brand new car warranty was up so went i brought it in and everything was was good everything was like the brake pads were brand new rotors were new as well tires were just installed so it was brand new there's nothing that needed to be changed um it just cost me 25 dollars for an oil change then because i just got the car so i figured i needed to do an oil change and um check my fluids and all that kind of stuff so right there 25 dollars for the oil change and uh, i did a i did a battery um a battery check as well so they had um replaced a few cables and stuff like that so that was $99 for that one so yeah I didn't so far that's a hundred and sixty so I saw about two hundred and eighty dollars so far that I've actually spent on maintenance of the car in entire what six to seven months that I've actually owned it yeah so that's about that's actually very cheap for maintenance on, on this car which is part of the reason why i actually got this car to begin with so it, it didn't cost much to really own the car um stuff like you know your your fluid like washer fluid that's like five bucks and that's not every you know, that's not like everyday thing so it doesn't cost much and even if i should say go get a a brake pad um, or brake rotors change that wouldn't cost me that much either so yeah that's how much it would cost to maintain this car and uh, those are all the mods and stuff i have on it right now so it actually just started raining so i'm about to just end this video but about about two thousand dollars within the past six months or six seven eight months i've actually owned the car so yeah, that's how much that really costs, about $2,000. And that's with all my mods, all changes, alignment, all that kind of stuff. So owning this car is really not that expensive. As you can see, it's a Honda. I mean, sure, parts could get very expensive if you really damage something or have an accident. But with a brand new car with, you know, warranty and all that, it's really not that expensive. It's really worth it. Uh, when you look at the competition and then the price of the car, how it stacks up against it, it's really, it's really worth it. You're not gonna be paying a lot for maintenance, insurance as well on these cars. None of that crazy. And yeah, so I'm gonna just end the video right there, guys. And I appreciate y'all for subscribing. Um, since you got this far watching, I would just say hit the like button. Uh, make sure you share the video and uh, check out my other videos. So that's it for today. Appreciate y'all and peace i'm out